Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to the Nursing Virus YouTube channel. This is me, Logunathan. This video regarding the AIMS NORSET 2020, the Nursing Officer Examination which was held on the date of 8th September 2020. The evening shift questions I am going to discuss on this video. So I already have posted more than 5 videos regarding that memory based questions which was asked on the date of 8th September 2020 on the NORSET examination for the nursing officer post. You can go and watch and you can get the clarification of those questions and few questions having the corrections and those questions I am correcting on the upcoming parts. So if you are appeared for that nursing officer NORSET examination and if you remember any other questions you can write it in the comments box or you can inbox to my WhatsApp number. And so far, if you are not subscribed my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming future videos. Yes, we'll go for the today's discussion for the part 3. More than 30 questions I am going to discuss on the evening shift, whatever things they were asked. So the first question from the aptitude area. How many students in the class do not having the mobile phone? They asked choose the correct statements. They are given the two statement like one is 30 students having mobile phone in the classroom and another one there are that 50 students in the classroom. They are given that these two statement and they below that they are given the four option. Among that they asked which one is correct one. So according to the given option the both statements one and two are not sufficient together. Sometimes the students, one student may have a two or three mobiles and some students not at all having the mobile phone. So it is not sufficient together. So the next one, again from the aptitude side. So this is the question related to the kind of an paper folding activity. So they are given the three images on the question. For example, the first square shape picture need to be folded up to down. And again, after making that up to down fold, they are given from the left to right. And finally, you are making an one hole in the center, left side, top corner side. So how the paper will be look like when you are making the opening. So after making a single hole, when after folding the papers, when you are opening the paper, the holes, the four holes will look like in the center part. So that is the correct answer. So the next one. So what is the symbol of UK currency? So the UK currency were called as the pounds. So that is the correct answer. So I'm somewhat either they may given that sign or may, they may ask the currency name. So that is the correct answer. And again next one from the aptitude side. That is identify the odd one or incorrect one they asked with the color pictures they were asked so on that given four option this is the odd one and incorrect one so the next one 85 the activity not recorded by the pulse oximeter is so they're given the four option like spo2 respiration rate like that they're given so which is not able to record is the ecg changes or the ecd re ecg readings that cannot be measured by the pulse oximeter. The 86, the mesh not used in the hernia repair surgery. So they given the four option. Among that four, the one is not commonly used for the hernial repair. That is the steel mesh. So the next one, 87. So the patient is getting potassium correction in 5% of dextrose. So what kind of ECG changes will the nurse see? To stop the infusion so because the overuse of that potassium will make the ECG changes so when the nurse looking that tall peaked T waves the immediately the nurse need to stop the potassium so the next one 88 the triple test the question related to the triple test they asked so the triple test is nothing the investigation performed during the pregnancy in the second trimester to classify the patient either having the high risk or low risk of chromosomal abnormalities that is called as triple test so mainly for the down syndrome identification 
the next one second that image based question they given the x-ray of kub that is a kidney ureter and bladder the image that mean that x-ray image they given and they asked what kind of identification you can do with the x-ray so the next one 90 what is the reason for allergy skin test performed in the intradermally injection the correct answer is the slow absorption of medication the slow absorption of medication is the correct answer so the next one 91 the fetal relation to the pelvis is known as that is called as presentation so when that uh, fetus were getting which position or relation towards the pelvis area that is called as presentation so the next one 92 the patient receiving manitol what is the role of the nurse in the patient with manitol administration that means the nurse giving that mantle administration and what kind of observation she need to do. So the primary observation which is done by the nurse is urinary output. So the next question related to the research area. They have asked one question. The correct answer is sample size. The sample size is referred to the number of participants or the observation included in the study. So the next one again from the biostatic side the the correct answer is mode the mode is nothing it is that value that appear most often in the set of data values that means that many times which number were repeating on the the particular order of or list of the numbers and the next one 95 the vascular repair done by which type of sutures the correct answer is monofilament suture so as with most vascular anastomosis a synthetic non-absorbable no doubt the non-absorbable monofilament suture on that atraumatic needle was employed so the basic principle of vascular repair were followed with the this monofilament sutures only the question number 96 the nasogastric suction generates the metabolic alkalosis by the loss of gastric secretion which are the rich in the hydrochloric acid so on the question paper they asked so the patient with the nasogastric suction tube what kind of development they'll use to do that is that metabolic alkalosis so that is the correct answer so the next one the 97 the image based question they given related to that obstetric and gynecology mainly that uh, uh, fetal assessment they given so i am not sure with that the type of image what they asked in the exam either that may be a lateral grip or fundal grip they given on the exam on the second shift so the next one 98 uh, the one question related to the remittent fever so it is a type or the pattern of fever in which the temperature does not touch the baseline and remains above the normal throughout the day. Daily variation in the temperature is more often like a 1 degree Celsius within the 24 hours. So in these kind of cases, the temperature cannot be able to stay as a stable one. So like an up and down, it will go. So next one. Uh, they asked the characteristic of the breast cancer the breast cancer is the type of cancer mainly develops from the breast tissue the sign of breast cancer may be included that lump on the breast a change in the breast shape and dimpling of the skin and the fluid coming from the nipple and they newly inverted the nipple or red or scaly patches over the skin related to this area they asked one question so the next one the hundred after completing of abdominal surgery for the client so what is the nursing care need to be planned by the nurse according to the priority so they're given the four list of cares so i think so the correct answer may be in making the person or assisting the person to sit on the bed or not one again the image based question they asked the type of assessment which they given on the image is diagonal conjugate measurement. 
So the diagonal conjugate is the measured anterior posteriorly. So that is the anterior posteriorly from the from the apex of the pubic arch of the symphysis to the scacral prometry. It is measured about 1.25 cm more than the obstetric conjugated and may be felt during the vaginal examination as a part of pelvic assessment. So this is the assessment they given on the image and they asked to find out what kind of assessment they are doing on the image. So the next one again from the biostatistic 1 or 2 the logistic regression it is a statistical model that in its basic form use the logistic function to model a linear dependent variable although many more complex extension of existed value so they may show the connectivity between one to other objectives or variables so the next question so on the asha the a stands for the that is the question the correct answer is the a stands for accredited so the complete asha stands for accredited social health activist so the next one related to the question for bmi calculation so they asked the incorrect one not the correct answer for the bmi calculation the bmi calculation we know that so the weight in kg divided by height in meter square that is the correct formula but they asked in the examination the incorrect one that is weight in kg divided by height square in centimeter that is the incorrect one we need to select on the exam so the next one 105 the acute leukemia the blood cells dash so the correct answer is immature leukocytes so the next one 106 so again the one more question towards that metabolic acidosis and they given that value and to identify the metabolic they given that appropriate value and they asked to identify what type of problem the person is having that is that metabolic acidosis so the next one 107 the question related to the torticollis so which the neck muscle contract and causing the head to twist to one side that is called as torticollis so the next question so one more question from that what is that brockton hicks contraction so the brockton hicks contraction is nothing that is that um, false labor or false labor pain so uh, that is a sporadic contraction and relaxation of the uterine muscle sometimes they are referred to the as a prodromal or false labor pain so it is believed they start around the six weeks of gestation but usually are not felt until the second or the third trimester of the pregnancy so they covered one question from this area so the next question why in some euro countries cat cut suture materials were not used so the correct answer is so the reason for not using that cat cut suture is the cat cut suture material transmit bovine spongy form in cephalopathy so that is the reason the many of the euro countries were not using this cat cut suture the 110 the child undergone for a vp shunt that is the ventriclo peritoneal shunt surgical procedure so on the assessment how will you assess the sign of increased icp so the on the child so mainly this uh, vp shunt will be performed in the case of uh, hydrocephalus patient so here the anterior fontanelles should be assessed for in case of increased icp and as i said in the before videos if you are written that nursing officer examination if you remember any other furthermore questions or if you have any correction on my videos questions you can write it in the comments box or you can make the comments in my whatsapp number thank you and so far if you are not subscribed my channel don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you will get all my future videos as a notification thank you